today, you are who you are today. See? You're still me, but you're a newer version. Myself ten years from now. I'm so far away, it's almost impossible to imagine. Knowing me, I'm sure you're causing all kinds of trouble for lots of different people. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. But it's all right. That's part of life too, isn't it? You're not perfect, but you've got a lot to give, so remember, I'll always be cheering you on. tired today. Today we're going to be talking about Hi, tell us, tell us. how to dress in the fall. How to dress for the fall in Galway. How to dress for the fall in Galway. I know. I know. It's everyone's favorite season. It's spooky season. And it's Libra season. If your favorite season is Christmas, um, you're selfish, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some of the essentials that you'll need whenever you come to Galway or if you come to Galway. Anyways, essentials. Number one essential item for Galway in the fall, rain jacket. You have to have a rain jacket, you just do. It actually hasn't rained a lot since I moved here, but starting in October, it's going to rain every day. That's what everybody tells me. It's rained enough here that I'm glad I had a rain jacket but it hasn't rained a lot. So bring a rain jacket, please. You're gonna get wet, your jeans are gonna get wet, your thighs are gonna chafe, and you're gonna walk to class and you're gonna be chafing and you're gonna be crying. So bring a rain jacket that like goes down over your thighs. Can you hear that? That's the shower. That's the lady I live with, she's taking a shower. So bring a rain jacket, do it. Number two, number two essential is good walking shoes. You have to have good walking shoes. You'll walk everywhere. If you're moving to Ireland, the odds of you having a car are like none. <laughs> if you get a car when you get here, that's really great. You have to learn how to drive on the other side of the road. Unless you're from the UK, then like that's normal. So you're gonna need a good pair of walking shoes. I brought with me three pairs of good walking shoes. The first pair of good walking shoes that I brought with me, I brought the Arahi Hokas. Arahi, I think that's how you say it. Ara, Arahi, Ara, I think it's Arahi. Hang on. If I'm saying that wrong, don't tell me. I just, I'm sorry. There's 22 of you. Like I, I don't, I don't know. See, so comfy and worn in. These are my two favorite colors. That's why I got them. But they're also comfortable. So plus. These are my rubber Birkenstocks. I mean, I feel like you've seen them. Um, not like mine, but you've seen them around. This is the second good pair of walking shoes that I brought. I had another pair, but I had them for three years and I wore them every day. They like molded to my feet. I have never worn a more comfortable pair of shoes than rubber Birkenstocks. Um, and I got this new pair right before I came here. So the other pair lasted me three years. So they last a long time and they're waterproof. Gotta grab my shoes. The third good pair of shoes that I brought are these hiking shoes that are like REI brand. They're really good shoes. I like them. They're not super fashionable, but they're comfortable and they're waterproof. So waterproof and comfort. Okay, number three on the essential list, rain boots. You have to bring rain boots. It rains so much. There's no point in not bringing rain boots. These aren't great walking shoes. I waited until I got here to get rain boots. They just wouldn't fit in my suitcase. I ordered these on ASOS. I ordered them a little too big on accident and now I have to wear like three pairs of socks for them to really fit, so that kind of sucks. But they were like 15 euros, so beggars can't be choosers. Okay, number four essential, it's not like one thing. You have to bring layers. Say it with me, layers. One minute it can be sunny here, no clouds in sight. And then out of the blue, the clouds roll in in the blink of an eye and it starts downpouring or the temperature just drops out of nowhere. 
like no warning. The temperature is just 20 degrees colder. And you're stuck in your classroom. It's a 20 minute walk from your house and all you're wearing is a t-shirt and a skirt. It's horrible. And it always happens the other way around. Like in the morning you'll wake up and it's super cold. So you think I just have to put a big sweater on and a long sleeve shirt and jeans and boots with so many socks. And then you get out of class and it's like, I don't know, Celsius. I don't know, Celsius. You're sweating. You sweat all of your makeup off before you can get home. It's awful. So I usually like wear a tank top under everything or like a short sleeve shirt under everything. I just try to layer as many clothes on so I can take them off. If it gets too hot and you just have to be prepared to wear layers, like you can't get around wearing layers. You have to do it. So for those of you that like the fall as much as I do, the fall starts really early here, so move to Ireland. I suggest bringing like tank top, short sleeve shirts, cardigans, pullovers, sweatshirts, like anything that you can really just like layer a lot of clothes on. Now, I can admit that I do not have the best fashion because I have no idea how to shop for myself. I just see something cute and I'm like, yes, I want that. And that just leads to too many statement tops or bottoms that don't go with anything. And so I end up like not wearing it very often. And my closet gets huge. It's just like overconsumption. I I do that. I overconsume a lot of products and I don't need to do that. And I'm learning not to do that slowly. And a lot of times this makes me just like not love my closet. If your closet's full of a bunch of clothes that you're only gonna wear once or twice, you're gonna end up opting for t-shirts and shorts every time because you're just not gonna love your closet. Lately, the like all black look is really speaking to me. I don't know what it is. Black just looks good with everything. So I've been buying a lot of black and I like it. I spent the last two years in undergrad doing everything I could. I only wanted to wear sweatpants and oversized t-shirts. Not that I like still don't do it. Like I'm doing it right now. I just know that sometimes like dressing up and looking nice is something that makes me feel good. I just didn't have the ability to do that my last two years of college. I just hated my wardrobe. Whenever you get to Galway, just make sure that everything you wear is like waterproof. Maybe not everything you wear, but make sure that like something waterproof is like covering your outfit. If you're not wearing a rain jacket and you get caught in the rain, you're gonna get soaked. Your shoes, your mascara, anything else you need, it just needs to be waterproof. And whatever it is you're wearing, just make sure that you're the one who loves it. People are always gonna have so many negative things to say about the stuff that you're wearing. Even sometimes you might convince yourself that you hate your style. But just remember that your style can be whatever you want it to be. It can literally be anything and you look good in it. Like whatever you're wearing, you look good. Don't listen to people who make you feel like your style is too weird or too much because it's not. Even if those thoughts are coming from your own head. Just wear whatever makes you feel cute and good because if you're wearing that, you're probably just giving somebody the confidence to do the same thing. Luckily in Galway, there's a lot of diversity in fashion and there's a lot of diversity in general. It was voted like the most diverse city in Europe in like 2020, which was the worst year to be voted the best in anything, so. Galway is a great place to branch out and try new things. I just wanted to show you guys the essentials that you would need if you moved here. It's a great place to try different styles, different aesthetics, like whatever you want. It's a great place to branch out and try something new, but it's also a great place to just do exactly what you've always done. So do whatever you want. That's what I'm trying to say. Wear whatever you want. Just make sure you're staying dry. Okay, I love you guys a lot, all 22 of you. I know more people might see this video, but there are 22 subscribers right now, and I thought I was only gonna get like three, so that's really cool. I love you guys a lot, and I'm looking forward to sharing more with you, so stay tuned. Okay, see you next time. Bye!